Okay, so we're going to need three of these beach balls. Um, so once again, please just check that your prototype ball, the one that's over here in the Actors tab, and your instance ball, the one that's actually in the game that you're going to use, have all the same rules and attributes applied. Um, so because I was working on the instance ball, I might just copy and paste these two rules that we, uh, we have here about how it moves and how it drops and add them to the prototype ball uh, so that when I copy and paste it, they'll all be the same. So instance ball, I'm going to take this top rule, uh, sorry, the bottom rule, the top one's already there. Edit, copy, go to the actual prototype ball. Double click on the bottom pane here, edit and sorry, edit and paste, and that second rule should still be there. So just double check to make sure the rules for the prototype ball and the instance ball, or the instance actor, of course, they're all actors, are the same. Then I can just drag hopefully this ball in, and now I'm making one, two, three copies of the ball. And then we can use those in our game. The game will be to you know, drop a series of balls down a chute or down a ramp. So you could have three, you could have four or five or however many you would like um, to use. That's, com that's completely up to you. So we can now bring in the ramp that these balls are going to slide along. So I'm going to add a new actor. And call it ramp that's a picture for it there is a picture for a ramp that has been supplied there it is picture for a ramp and now we'll work on the attributes for this ramp now unfortunately in game salad um, a ramp or anything that has sorry anything that has a physics attached to it a physics generator um, anything that was going to bump or slide or roll or or anything like that. These uh, those kind of attributes can only be applied to squares and rectangles, not curved shapes, which is rather annoying. So we have a little trick for doing that. We can position our ramp, and really, it's just going to be a, a graphic sitting there um, for a visual. And if you recall how we made invisible actors in the previous one, we're going to make some invisible actors behind the ramp of a series of rectangles that will then enable the ball to slide along the ramp and then shoot up into the air. Okay, so the actual ramp itself is just going to be an image to make it look good, and then we'll have invisible rectangles and squares sort of hidden behind it that the balls will actually, uh, actually come into contact with. So let's build it. I'm going to create a new actor and call it... Call it what? Call it... Um, Where's my new actor? There it is. And call it ramp piece or something. Ramp bit, ramp whatever you like. Drag it in. And it's just a rectangle at the moment. Make them thin. And the idea is to take them and sort of rotate them and sort of align it as best you can with the ramp itself and build up a ramp Get quite accurately to the ramp itself resize it, drag it in spin it you might like to take a bit more time with this to get them uh, even more accurate and a smoother transition and a smooth rolling over but that's, that's the gist of it. So bring them in, rotate them, and follow the contour of the ramp shape as quickly as you can. I'm going to pause the video and just build it up. You don't need to watch me doing it. Okay, so there it is. That's what it looks like. That follows the contour of the ramp reasonably close. It'll do the job for what we need for today. So go into the actor again for the ramp. Now, we want to change the physics again. So down to the uh, actor tab here, physics. Um, what do we want? We want the friction again, nice and low. 
0 0.1, the same as the ball. We don't want it bouncy. And we don't want it movable. So that's the physics done. Now we can add a collide. And make it collide with the ball. And then hit save and see what we've got.